Hello, yes, Jared Batten works for the secret state. That's right, just like his predecessor does, Henry Bolton. Remember him, the little Jack Russell was having a toxic love affair with Joe Marley that turned sour and nearly brought UKIP to its knees. But like I've said before, what the secret state does, it's disruption, it's subversion, it's not naked disruption and subversion. It's always under the cover of something. In Henry Bolton's case, it was a love affair that, uh, as I say, turned sour and went wrong and nearly brought UKIP to its knees. That's what they do. Now, in Jared Batten's case, his cover is a war on Islam, right? The whole religion like Nigel Farage spoke about, right? A war that UKIP will lose because the public doesn't want a war with Islam or anyone for that matter. And it's a war UKIP will lose. It'll be rejected at the polls. And that's why he's going down that road. He's also picking side issues that, again, the public doesn't care about. Those young girls that enter into the lion's den and end up getting groomed and raped by Muslim paedophiles, there's not really much we can do about that. They're just sad cases that haven't had a start in life, if at all, and they've ended up with that loss. There's nothing we can do about it. Plus, there's other needy young children that need uh, or concern and attention more so than those lot. There's nothing we can do about them. Also, female genital mutilation, again, that will never, ever, ever affect 99.99% of non-Muslim women, right? If they want to practice that barbaric act upon one another, then be my guest. Again, we've got more important things to think of, like our own children, right? Our own children that um, are having a bad time and a bad start in life. We're, we've got them to think of, not Muslim children or Somali kids, or is it? I'm not quite sure. Is it a cultural thing that more so than a... Uh, religious one but whoever it's practiced upon we've got our own children to think about right barbaric and wicked and twisted and evil as it is like i've said we've got our own people uh to be concerned about so he's pushing all this and many other issues he's going on all these demos and marches and he's on you know he's part of the tommy robinson road show now and it will as intended alienate ukippers and it'll alienate them at the polls you see What's going to happen now with um, Jared Batten is I reckon there's going to be so much consternation with him where UKIPers are getting restless and they don't like it and the good ones can see the destructive, negative uh, aspects of his Tommy Robinson road showing the war with Islam. They may then up for another leadership challenge and then so begins the process again of a new leader demoralizing more UKIPers, more voters and so on and so on. That may be their next move. I don't know with not being privy to everything. I can only guess. But if they do, I've got a good idea who's lining up for the next role as UKIP leader. And he's another one that works with the secret states. Like I've said, Mr. Farage, I don't think you've really fully appreciated the forces that are not just against British nationalism in the form of the once mighty National Front, the once successful BMP. They're against any form of uh, patriotism, populism, that is not part of the status quo, let's say. Right? That could change things for the good. They're not part of that leftist mindset. Tories and Labour and everyone else, Lib Dems are all signed up to. You see... I believe since the Second World War, we haven't really had a true patriot that's been running our country. I don't believe, I wouldn't even put uh, Winston Churchill in that category. Trust me, I wouldn't. Right? Now, we haven't really had a British patriot leader leading our country that has put the interest of Britain and the British people first. Margaret Thatcher, she sold us out. Sold us out the Anglo-Irish Agreement in 1986. Sold us out to immigration in 79 and so on and so on. She sold us out, right? That all seem to be subservient to either the money power or the leftist mindset. So we haven't really had a uh, British patriot that's been running this country. Not at all, right? So... The forces out there to stop any change are massive, Mr. Farage. Even against populists like yourself, let alone British nationalists like John Tyndall, the late great John Tyndall and 
the foolish Daphnic Griffin. But anyway, and you call that because you, you, it warrants being, you warrant being called that because you're just an idiot at the moment. And it's very sad is you, you have got potential, but you're in your daft phase again now and hobnobbing with Jack Senna, who not hates by, it's bizarre. But anyway, so I don't think you've really appreciated Mr. Farage, the forces waged against anyone changing the status quo, right? I don't believe you've really appreciated it. Now you probably are. You're probably noticing what's happening around UKIP. Is it all an accident? Another coincidence? You know, it, it's not. It can't be that since you resigned or packed in whatever as leader of UKIP, UKIP's been beset with problem after problem after problem and they're all following the same modus operandi aren't they it's all destructiveness it's all badness that you know is crippling UKIP now Jared Batten like I've said we shall see what his next move or moves are we shall see right but it will be to the detriment of UKIP he will push policies that the old UKIP under Nigel Farage would never have, uh, have taken on board. Never do. They rejected them. So he will deliver for his control as he'll have to. But is he then going to be deposed and there's another leadership challenge? And as I say, so on and so on. And so goes the merry-go-round. We shall see. Also, Mr Farage, while I'm on, I'm on about talking about yourself. Um... What's the point in getting out the European Union and leaving the same incompetence, criminals and outright traitors running the show? That doesn't make sense. Because what's stopping Labour if they're elected in the very near future, reversing it and saying we're going back into the European uh, Union without a referendum or whatever? Or they have another referendum and they, they vote to go back in? Uh, uh, and so on, right? So you can't leave the same incompetence, criminals, out, out traitors in control. Why would you do that? You know, so your work's only really just beginning if you think about it. That's a big major, a big step getting out the European Union. But it's only the beginning of solving a bigger issue. And that's getting these swines out that are all signed up to, all subscribed to, the leftist liberal mindset. They all want no borders, they all want unlimited immigration and all the other crackpot nonsense, they all, they're pushing transgender or whatever. They're all behind the, the nonsense that's destroying us. So to get out the European Union and leave the country in the hands of the people who put it in this mess in the first place is madness. Right, so they have to go we have to, you have to get back on board, either take back control of UKIP or a new political party, and you have to kick the traitors out into the Thames and put a patriot there, because it's no good, the same show, the same carry-on, continuing, is it? Well, exactly, but Jared Batten, he works with the secret states, he will be delivering soon, he will have to cause... Either a blatant disruption, Henry Bolton style, or he'll just push more and more of uh, the war with Islam, the war on Islam, and uh, befriend the Tommy Robinson Road Show and other extremists, as the public may see them, or just other crackpots and weirdos. And uh, he'll have to deliver. It just depends on in which way he's going to do it. Is it going to be? The Henry Bolton way, or is it just going to be a more subtle way? Now, the spotlight's on him, where he'll just jump on board the Tommy Robinson Road show, declare war on Islam and just scare everyone to death and frighten them away, which in turn may spark another leadership election. And here we go again. But I've got an idea who's, uh, who's, in the, who's waiting in the sidelines to maybe take his place, and then probably the same will happen again. So... Jared Batten does indeed work for the secret state. If I've got this all wrong, how does everything I keep saying always come true? How? You need to get back in there, Mr Farage, because your job's really only just beginning. 
Okay, thank you.